Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. In the current lecture series, we are discussing here numerical differentiation. In the last lecture, we have started this numerical differentiation using uh, Lagrange interpolation method and uh, divided differences. And uh, in the end of the last lecture, I have uh, just uh, given one example based on this uh, divided difference that uh, how we can use this uh, differentiation. And there itself I have just uh, discussed uh, that uh, how we can just apply the divided difference on the tabular form first and then we can just go for this uh, derivatives. And uh, after this we will just in this lecture we will just uh, go for this maxima and minima of a tabulated function then the error estimation in the differential uh, equations. That uh, this uh, numerical differentiation how it can be applied for this uh, error estimation in interpolation polynomials. So, this uh, present table already I have uh, discussed in the last lecture that uh, how we can just uh, find this uh, first order difference, second order difference, third order difference and fourth order difference. If a tabular value is uh, given to us like x equals to 1, 2, 4, 8 and 10 and then the corresponding y values are uh, given as uh, 0, 1, 5, 21 and 27 suppose how we can compute this uh, derivative of this function y at a point 3 suppose and uh, double derivative also at that same point. So, first we have to go for this uh, divided difference table already in the last lecture I have uh, derived this uh, divided uh, difference uh, table there itself and uh, after that once we are just uh, using this uh, divided difference table we will have this values like uh, first divided difference value that as uh, we have just uh, obtained here as 1 here, second divided difference uh, for the first uh, table form we are just obtaining 1 by 3 then 0 then minus 1 by 144 here. So, if you will just uh, use this uh, divided difference formula usually this uh, Newton's divided difference formula is written in the form like P n x this equals to summation of j equals to 0 to n sorry this is i equals to 0 to n if you will just write then we can just write f of x 0 x 1 to x i then we can just write product of j equals to 0 to i minus 1 and x minus x j here. So, either you can just use this one as the call bracket we have used here. So, if you we are just writing this uh, uh, polynomial in this form then since the data it is just given to us are like x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 4 here. So, if you just collectively write this data as here like x 0 equals to 1 here, x 1 equals to 2 here, x 2 equals to 4 here x 3 equals to 8 here and uh, x 4 equals to 10 here. Then we will have like uh, 5 points here this can just generate a polynomial of uh, degree 4 here. So, we can just write this function f of x it, it can be approximated with a polynomial of a degree 4 here p 4 x and that can be written in the form like f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of uh, x 0 x 1 x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of x 0 x 1 x 2 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 x minus x 2 f of x 0 x 1 x 2 x 3 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 x minus x 2 x minus x 3 f of x 0 x 1 x 2 x 3 x 4 here. So, if we will just put all these values here since our initial values it is in a tabular form it is just given us as like 0 here if you will just see this tabular values here. So, first corresponding value of x 
is just given here if you will just see f0 it is given as uh, 0, f1 as uh, 1 here, f2 as uh, 5 here, f3 as uh, uh, 21 here, f4 as uh, 27 here. So, if you just put this values f of x0 is 0 here, so you can just write this one as a 0 plus x minus x0, x0 is a 1 here, then f of x0, x1, this is the tabular form already we have discussed in the last lecture that is especially written as a 1 here plus x minus x0, x minus x1 here into the divided difference between this f of x0, x1 and x2. Collectively, if you will just see this table, so we can just, uh, we have already obtained that one the values as 1 by 3 here plus x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2 that is as 4 here into your f of x0, x1, x2, x3 here and that value it is just giving you 0 there plus x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 4, x minus 8 into f of x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 in the arguments form. And that value is especially just uh, giving us in the tabular form as minus 1 by 144. So, if you, we can just uh, multiply all these terms here, then we can just uh, obtain this polynomial that is in the form of x only here. So, obviously, if we, this polynomial is expressed in the form of x, directly we can just apply the derivatives to get uh, this uh, differential form of this uh, polynomial p 4 x here. So, if you just uh, take all these products here, then this product form can be written in the form like first term is as x minus 1 here, second term if you will just see here, so that can be written as uh, 1 by 3 x square minus 3 x plus 2 and uh, since uh, next term immediate term is 0 there, so then the last term it can be written as minus 1 by 144 x to the power 4 minus 15 x square plus 70 x square minus 120 x plus 64 here. And if you will just take this derivative here that is in the form of uh, f dash x. So, f dash x can be written as first derivative here 1 plus 1 by 3 into x square minus 3 x plus 2 derivative is 2 x minus 3 minus 1 by 144. Then uh, x to the power 4 is 4 x square minus 45 x square plus 140 x minus 122 here. So, final form we are just obtaining here f dash x as 1 plus 1 by 3 into 2 x minus 3 minus 1 by 144 x to the power 4 sorry I will just write this one only the derivatives. So, that is why 1 by 3 into 2 x minus 3 minus 1 by 144 x to the power 4 minus 15 x s cube then uh, plus 70 x square 70 x square means uh, the derivative will come as 140 x here then the last term is minus 120. So, if you want to find suppose this derivative at uh, the point 3 here, so directly we can just replace this x by 3 here and we can just obtain this derivative at the point 3. And if we want to uh, evaluate this second order derivative here, then directly we can just differentiate once more here that as first term is 0 here, then 1 by 3 into 2 minus 1 by 44, then this is 4 x s cube minus 45 x square plus 140. And similarly, if you will just put here f double dash of 3, 
then we can just obtain the second order differentiation of this uh, fourth order polynomial at the point 3 there. So, obviously, this values if it can be calculated, so that can be represented in the form of f dash 3 equals to 1 plus 1 by 3 into 2 into 3 minus 3 minus 1 by 144 into 4 into uh, 3 q there. So, especially it is just uh, it should be like uh, 4 x s q minus 45 x s square if you just see. So, this should be 4 x s q minus 45 x s square if you will just take the derivatives. So, then we it can be multiplied and uh, we can have the clear form here then it will just uh, change to uh, this is like a 12 x square this should be like 90 x here and uh, it is like 140. So, if you will just uh, directly put this uh, f uh, double dash of uh, 3 here then we can just obtain this value as 0 0.821944 here. So, then we will just go for this uh, computation of maxima and minima using this uh, polynomial differentiation. The beauty of this method is that even if the function is not known to us then we can have this maxima or minima of this function if the prescribed tabular values is given to us. So, we can just use this uh, same uh, arguments form of x here and uh, we can just determine this maxima and minima for this uh, tabulated function by differentiating this uh, interpolating polynomial here and maxima and minima of y equals to f of x can be obtained by equating dy by dx equals to 0 and uh, first if you will just use Newton's forward difference formula to compute this maxima and minima for the tabulated values then the formula can be written in the form like the formula for this Newton's uh, forward difference formula already we have discussed uh, this one in uh, previous lectures and uh, if I will just write once more here then this Newton's forward difference formula can be written in the form of y of p or y of x p or y of x this can be written as y 0 plus p delta of y 0 p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 delta square of y 0 plus of 2 p into p minus 1 up to p minus n plus 1 by n factorial delta to the power n of y 0 here. And if you just differentiate this one with respect to p here, so then we can just obtain dy by dp as del y 0 plus 2 p minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square of y 0 plus all other terms there. For maxima if you will just put here dy by dp equals to 0 suppose. So, this can be written as a 0 here. This implies that we can just uh, terminate this uh, left hand side series expansion up to certain terms then we can just obtain this. Uh, maxima or minima of a function. Suppose, if the left hand side is just uh, truncated after suppose uh, third differences for our convenience suppose. Then we will just obtain a quadratic equation here in P and uh, which gives uh, two values of P since it is just a quadratic equation here. Corresponding to these values of P then we can have a maxima or minima at that point and once we have this values of p there then we can just obtain this uh, value of x at that point. Since usually this x can be written as in the form of x equals to x 0 plus p h here or for convenience we can just write sometimes if x 0 equals to a is a particular value then we can just write this one as a plus p h here. And once this uh, values of p is known to us then we can just determine the values of x and if the x is known to us then we have to see this tabular values that where this x is placed inside this table. And at that point either this forward difference formula or backward difference formula can be applicable that we have to check and once we can just check that one since that depends on the values of p at that point. 
So, once we are just obtaining the values of p at that point, then we can just obtain the values of uh, another y at that point for this values of y of x. And uh, to obtain this maxima or minima, the usual criteria is that we have to see that for maxima, we have to put d square y by dx square is negative and we have to show that for minima d square y by dx square is positive. Suppose we have an example here that the question is asked to find x for which y is a maximum taking the difference of to second order from the following table and find maximum value of y. And if I will just consider this table here like x values are prescribed as 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 and 1.6 with space size h equals to 0.1 here. Suppose the tabular values are given at uh, x equals to 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6 here and the corresponding values of y are given as a 0 0.9320. Zero point nine six three six, zero point nine eight five five, zero point nine nine seven five, and last value is given as a zero point triple nine six, and the corresponding values for uh, uh, forward difference formula or forward difference table can be given as the difference of uh, these two. So, that is just given as a 0 0.0316 here. If we will just take the difference of uh, these two here, so the values can be written as 0 0.0219 here. If we will just take the difference of uh, these two here, then that will just give you 0 0.0120 here. If we will just take the difference of uh, these two here, that can be given as a 0 0.0021. Then the second difference for this uh, numbers are can be written as minus 0 0.0097 first one, then second one it can be written as uh, minus 0 0.0099, third difference it can also be written as 0 0.0099 here, sorry this is a uh, del square, then I will just go for del q of y here and if you will just take the difference here, so the first difference this will just give you minus 0 0.02 here and this will just 0 here and fourth order difference you can just write this one as a 0 0.002 only and the space size if you will just see this equidistance points are there, so that is why h can be written as 0 0.1 here and uh, starting value for y0 it can be written as 0 0.9320 here and based on this if we want to determine this interpolating polynomial, the interpolating polynomial can be written in the form like y of x equals to y0, y0 means 0 0.9320 here and the second point it can be written as p delta of uh, y0 here, so 0 0.0316 p here. And third one if you will just write here, so plus p into p minus 1 by 2 into the third difference if you will just write minus 0 0.0097 here. And uh, then again this uh, difference if you will just write p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into next immediate value is a minus 0 0.0002 here plus all other term we can just write here. And if it is the question since the question is asked to compute or taken this terms of two suppose second differences here. So, we can just consider this terms up to this one only here and uh, then we can just write y of p up to second differences as 0 0.9320 plus 0 0.0316p plus p square minus p by 2 
since this sign can come as minus here into 0 0.0097 here. And if we want to first find the first order differences here, so wide SP this can be written as 0 0.0316 minus, so this will be just giving you 2 P minus 1 by 2 into 0 0.0097 and this equals to 0 here. If this equates to 0 here for maxima and minima of this point, then we can just obtain this uh, values as 0 0.0316 this equals to 2 p minus 1 by 2 into 0 0.0097 here. And finally, we will have this value like p equals to if you will just solve here, p can be written as 3.7577 here. If you will just see here, p is just giving you this value, then to find this maxima or minima at that point, we have to check d square y by d square y by dp square here. So, if you will just evaluate here d square y by dp square here, then this is value it is just giving you directly <coughs> as minus 0 0.0097 here, this is less than 0 already. So, that is why we can just say that this second order derivative is minimum means or negative means we will have a maximum value at point p equals to 3.7577 here. To obtain the values of x for that p, we have to consider again x equals to x0 plus ph or x equals to a plus ph there. So, if you will just consider that to find this x value for this corresponding p value here, so x can be written as x0 plus ph here or this can be written as a plus ph. So, the final value if you will just see here that <coughs> initial value is taken as uh, 1.2 here plus P is 3.7577 <coughs> into H is 0 0.1 here. So, finally, we can just obtain these values as 1.5758, 1.5758. If you will just see this point here, so this values of x is just observed in this point here on the stabilar values. This means that we can have to use this Newton's backward difference formula to obtain this value at that point. So, to find this maximized value at that point especially, we have to use this backward difference formula as x equals to x n plus p h at that point. This simply satisfies that p can be written as x minus x n by h there which can be written as 1.5758 minus 1.6 since uh, 1.6 is uh, your uh, x n value. So, we can just write that one by 0 0.1 this equals to minus 0 0.242 since p is lying between like minus 1 to 0 there. So, we can just use Newton's backward difference formula and if we want to evaluate this polynomial at that point especially we have to consider that y n equals to 1.6 the particular value will be 0 0.9996 here then plus p nabla of y n that is p is just giving you here the value as uh, minus 0 0.242. So, minus 0 0.242 into this nabla of y n if you will just see this backward table differences here that is just giving you 0 0.0021 here if you will just see and uh, plus then p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 sorry p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial del square of y n here. So, p is given as minus 0 0.242 into minus 0 0.242 plus 1 by 2 into minus 0 0.0099 here. So, then the final value we are just obtaining as 1.000 here up to 4 decimal places. So, then we will just go for this uh, error approximation in the interpolating polynomial cache. So, for that we have to consider like a Newton's forward difference formula, backward difference formula 
or like a divided difference formula to evaluate this error at a different points there. So, already we have discussed that this errors that is written in the form like a r n plus 1 x as r n plus 1 x the error term is defined as x minus x 0, x minus x 1 up to x minus x n f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial. Usually this is the error term for uh, the general approximation of this uh, interpolating polynomials we have defined where this zeta value should lies between x 0 to x n here. And if we will just go for this differentiation of this error term here, then we can just differentiate this x product c here separately and we can just take the differentiation of uh, this zeta. Since zeta is a function of x here, we can just uh, treating this two variable product form here. This means that if we will just consider this side as omega x here and this side as f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial here. Then this differentiation with respect to x for this uh, error term, it can be written as omega dash x f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial plus omega of x f to the power n plus 2 zeta by n plus 1 factorial into zeta dash x here. So, based on this we can just say that this error it will just occur at a different polynomial basis. This means that if you just consider exactly x equals to x j then obviously this omega x will just uh, give you a 0 value here. Then we can just write this polynomial as r n plus 1 dash at x j exactly this equals to omega dash of x j f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial here. Where this uh, zeta should be lies between like uh, x 0, x 1 to x n for maximized value within any of these intervals there and uh, minimum value within this interval. Why we are just considering this maximum and minimum value is that sometimes maybe it is just occurring this variable x in the form of fractional uh, form there. So, we have to consider this uh, minimized value for uh, minimized values of x to determine this maximum value of that function. So, that is why we have to consider either it is in minimized form or in the maximized form to obtain this maximum value for this error term there. So, if you just consider this one in a divided difference form here. So, this divided difference form of this uh, polynomial can be written as if you just see this Newton's uh, divided difference uh, error derivation from our earlier lectures. You can just find that R n plus 1 x term can be written as omega x into f of x x 0 x 1 to x n there. So, obviously, R n plus 1 dash x can be written as omega dash x into this first product term plus omega x into the derivative of the second product term. And we can just write this one as omega dash x into f of x x 0 to x n plus omega x. Since we are just considering the derivative of uh, x x 0 x 1 to x n arguments, so one more x can be involved inside the arguments. Why it is just coming? If you just see here f of x 0 x 0, usually it is just written in the form like limit h tends to 0 f of x 0 plus h minus f of uh, x 0 divided by h here. And obviously, this can be written in the form of like f dash of x 0 divided by 1 factorial here. Similarly, we can just write f of x 0, x 0, x 0, 3 arguments if it is just placed we can just write this one as limit h tends to 0 f of x 0 plus h x 0 minus f of x 0 by h there. So, if you just uh, write in that form, then we can just uh, apply this L hospitals rule twice, then we can just obtain the second differentiation of uh, f at the point x 0 there. This means that if you just uh, see here that h square is just occurring if you just take f of x 0 plus h minus f of x 0 by h. So, 1 by h product it will be there. 
So, that is why 0 by 0 form it is just occurring. So, that is why we have to take this L hospitals rule to obtain this uh, limit at that position and this gives you like f double s of x 0 by 2 factorial. So, if suppose r times the same argument is placed then we can just write that one as f to the power r of x 0 by r factorial. Similarly, we can write if suppose two arguments are equal and all arguments are deferred. So, then we can just transfer that one as f of x r x r x 0 to x n limit h r ten, tends to 0. Since if h r can be placed at that point then that will just represent the same expression as we have just seen from the previous one. And if you we'll just write in a limiting form there that can be transformed directly to the derivative form as d by dx of f of x x r x 0 to x n there at x equals to x r and which can be written as a derivative form with r arguments as 1 by r factorial d to the power r by dx to the power r f of x x 0 to x n there. And if you will just use this expression in the complete derivative term of this remainder term then we can just get r n plus 1 dash x as omega dash of x j f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial plus the arguments involved for this derivative of uh, f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 terms there. So, that can be represented as omega x f to the power n plus 2 zeta 1 by n plus 2 factorial. So, next lecture we will just uh, continue that uh, how we can just uh, obtain this uh, differentiation for the central difference approximations. Thank you for listening the lecture.